The Los Angeles Clippers have signed Paul George to a maximum extension that will pay him $226 million over the next five seasons. For a player coming off a relatively poor season, this seems like an absolutely insane contract. So we have to ask the question, is Paul George really worth this much money? Are the Clippers insane or does this deal actually make sense for both sides? Before we answer some of these questions, please like the video if you enjoy it and subscribe to the channel for new videos like this one every week. If you take a look at NBA Twitter or Reddit, the general consensus about Paul George's new contract is overwhelmingly negative. Most NBA fans believe that the Clippers have overpaid George, especially since his poor performance in last season's playoffs. And this is an understandable position, especially when you consider that the Lakers have just signed Anthony Davis to a $190 million contract for the next five seasons. Paying Paul George almost $40 million more than Anthony Davis makes absolutely no sense. However, it's important to try and understand the other side of situations like this. The people who run the Clippers organization are much smarter than I and the average NBA fan, so there must be good reasons for giving George such a lucrative deal. In the trade that sent Paul George to the Clippers from the Thunder, the Clippers gave up all of their first round picks through to 2026. This sent a very clear message to the NBA. The Clippers are in win now mode. By giving up all of their first round picks, the Clippers cannot use the NBA draft to improve their roster for the next six years. So if the Clippers are going to win a championship over the next few years, they need to retain the key pieces on their roster. That is Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Now with Paul George's new contract, he's going to be a Clipper for the next five years. But the big question is whether or not Kawhi Leonard will re-sign with the Clippers in the next off season. And I think this is why the Clippers have overpaid Paul George. They wanted to make sure that they had an NBA All-Star on their roster for the foreseeable future to prove to Kawhi that they're committed committed to winning now. With this in mind, there are really two factors that will determine whether Paul George's new contract was a good move for the Clippers. Firstly, is Kawhi Leonard more likely to re-sign with the Clippers now that Paul George is committed long term? And secondly, will Paul George bounce back from his disappointing performance in last season's playoffs? Let's take a look at the first issue. Is Kawhi Leonard more likely to re-sign with the Clippers now that Paul George is committed long term? The obvious answer to this is yes, but how much of a difference will having Paul George committed make to Kawhi Leonard. Personally, I don't think it will make much difference to Kawhi just because of his personality. Now granted, I don't know the guy. Now granted, I don't know Kawhi Leonard, but if we think back to how Kawhi handled the situations in San Antonio and Toronto, it's clear that he doesn't seem to care about the opinions and decisions of other star players on his teams. Nevertheless, I do think Kawhi Leonard will re-sign with the Clippers because he stated before that he wants to play in LA, and as long as LeBron James is a Laker, I cannot see Kawhi joining the purple and gold. You'd also like to think that Kawhi has unfinished business in LA too because of the Clippers implosion against the Nuggets in the playoffs. So surely he would re-sign to try and right that wrong. Unfortunately for the Clippers, Kawhi has proven that he's unpredictable when it comes to free agency, but I'm expecting the Clippers to make more moves this year to try and convince Kawhi to stay. As for the second point, will Paul George bounce back from his disappointing performance in last season's playoffs? I think it's fair to say that the Clippers in general will be much better this season after being the laughing stock of the NBA and choking away a 3-1 series lead against the Nuggets. I'm expecting the Clippers to come back much better this season. In hindsight, it's clear that the Clippers were too arrogant last season. Paul George confessed that the Clippers didn't practice as much as they should and there was way too much load management last season for the Clippers to really develop any team chemistry. Like LeBron James, the Clippers thought they could just turn it on come playoff time but clearly it's not that simple simple, and LeBron James is unique in that regard. I'm also expecting Paul George personally to have a much better season this year. If we look back to 2019, only two years ago, Paul George had one of the best seasons of his career. He averaged 28 points, 8 rebounds, and 2 steals per game, and was considered one of the best two-way players in the league. After a disappointing and frankly embarrassing first season with the Clippers, Paul George will want a strong bounce-back season to put the league on notice. So what do you guys think of Paul George's new contract and do you think the Clippers stand a better chance of re-signing Kawhi Leonard now? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button as it helps the channel grow and subscribe for new videos like this one every week.